Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to oppose this motion uh, simply because the matter that is at hand has got many dynamics. And having a look at the committee that has been put together, I don't think that the dynamics will be met with that committee. First of all, the impeachment motion of this particular governor touches on a lot of uh, gender issues. And when you look at the committee, a committee of 11 people who are going to actually impeach or not impeach a woman governor, we only have three women. So even if we are pushing for the two-third gender rule, because of the fact that the issues that are being raised on this particular debate are gender sensitive, I think it was a bit unfair that that committee did not actually put into perspective that perhaps they should have had more women into that committee. Uh, another reason that I do not support the motion is that um, the matters that have been raised in the public domain this particular governor has actually already been persecuted by the public the issues have been discussed in public everything has been put out in public and in order for us as a senate that actually understands the sensitivity of the matter we then must actually provide a platform where we must publicly execute and debate matters and be able as a senate to, to, to say that we have given a fair hearing and a fair platform. Another thing is that um, the divergent views that are actually brought to the House by the plenary uh, way of impeachment will not be exercised under the committee. And I feel as though perhaps the reason I am not supporting this motion is that even when you read the order paper, it says that the Senate has resolved. For us, we were coming hoping that we are going to perhaps have a Kamkunji before this or perhaps have some sort of collaboration. Mr. Speaker, nothing of the sort has been done. Nobody has actually, and I hate to be in this position because I support my party, but I'm also a woman, and I'm pushing for the two-third gender rule, and I'm pushing that out of the very few, a handful of, of, the, of the governors that have gotten elected, I know if there is a case for impeachment, it should have fair hearing. When you look at the committee, Mr. Speaker, you have two former governors sitting in the committee. This is an issue about impeaching a governor. And then you have two former governors sitting in that committee. I have to raise my eyebrow and ask myself, is it going to be fair hearing? Because there's already a conflict of interest there to have two former governors sitting and saying they are going to give fair hearing. And finally, what, what, Mr. What is your Speaker... Point of order? What is your point of order, Majority? Mr. Speaker, Does he well? Senator Gloria, kindly take your seat. You know, Mr. Speaker, uh, we have very clear rules of debate. When you're debating, you cannot improve, uh, uh, impute improper motive on your, on your colleagues without a substantive motion. I want Senator Gloria, because she's now imputing improper motive on first, me as majority leader. Secondly, as SBC, that by including colleagues, you know, there are former fishermen here, there are former touts, there are former herders, there are former governors. Please let her show me which standing order says a former governor should not serve in any particular committee of this particular house. But that is a less substantial matter. What I want her to tell me. What I want her to tell me, I'm on a point of order, my neighbor. Allow me to make my point. Listen, Mr. Speaker, the thing I want Gloria to explain to me is how 
Senator, Senator Gloria, sorry, my apologies. The thing I want Senator Gloria to explain, Mr. Speaker, because otherwise she will be impro uh, imputing improper motive on me, is how, by having these two, two senators, because she has picked on two particular senators in this particular committee, points that there is a general direction in which how this committee is supposed to conduct its work. Mr. Speaker, until that is properly explained to me, then it will have been left on the hand side of this house that at one particular time when I moved a motion, I moved a motion already with a predetermined position. I do not take that kindly, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Senator Gloria. Indeed, to that extent, to that extent, you are out of order and you may proceed to abandon that line of argument or contribution. Mr. I Speaker, I retract my comments that two governors will be, si former governors will be sitting in the proposed committee. I retract the comment, although the two former governors will be sitting. Mr. Speaker, I also want to say that... Um, what is your point of order, Senator Wambua? Senator Gloria, please take a seat. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I really hate to disrupt the flow of our thoughts. But Mr. Speaker, she has raised an issue, and because this is House of Record, and every senator is responsible for the accuracy of the statements that they make on the floor. For clarity, Mr. Speaker, both the plenary way and the committee way are public engagements. A wrong impression should not be created here, Mr. Speaker, that if you go the plenary way, it's going to be a sitting in camera. It is a public engagement as much as a plenary way would be a public engagement. The speaker, for accuracy and for purposes of record, that is important to note. Proceed, uh, Senator Gloria. I hope you've been fully informed. Yes, yes Mr. Speaker, I've been fully informed. Mr. Speaker, allow me to also put across that you have seen the manner with which this gender, which is the female gender, the women senators, have to fight in this house. To even be called by their title, Senator Gloria, becomes a war in the house. And this is my concern, Mr. Speaker, because when you are actually putting together a committee that is going to consider an issue of impeachment on the basis of gender sensitive matters that have been brought. And Mr. Speaker, allow me because I think you must protect me from the house. As I said, we, we need protection, Mr. Speaker. I, I, I would like to just execute my case, Mr. Speaker. What is the point of order, Senator Sifuna? Mr. Speaker, I listened to you very carefully when you read the charges against uh, the governor i do not recall any accusation against her based on her gender i would want to understand where senator gloria is getting this impression that somehow the question of the impeachment of the governor of meru has anything to do with her gender i think mr speaker perhaps for her benefit you could repeat the charges against her because I did not hear anything touching on her gender when you read the, the charges, Mr. Speaker. I thank you. Senator Gloria, I know, I know how passionate you are on gender issues. But please do not bring it up when it's not... Mr. Speaker, I have said... Senator Gloria, can you proceed? On Mr. Speaker, your... I have said that the matters that are arising in this case are gender sensitive. Gender sensitive. And Mr. Speaker, I honestly, honestly would like to invite the House to come for capacity building when it comes to gender mainstreaming. When I say gender sensitive, it means that the issues might appear black and white to the male senators, while in perspective, and in a court of law and in an investigative institution or a committee, 
you can already see that there are senators who might not be able to catch the gender, gender sensitivity of the matter. So my issue is, if indeed we are pushing to go the committee way, which I do not support, because I think that it already disadvantages the subject matter who has already been publicly pers persecuted by the other gender. And I think we should really try to ask ourselves, we only have five elected governors. And out of these elected governors who are women, we are actually putting together an 11-member committee that is constituted of only three senators. Can we at least then get a 50-50 of that committee? And if not, can we at least find a way to ensure that the gender-sensitive matters that keep reappearing on this impeachment? Because, Mr. Speaker, I know I'm guided, I'm not supposed to talk on the issues, but there are gender-sensitive matters, including the issue of the office of the first husband. That is a gender-sensitive matter. And we have to have a committee which we, as other senators, actually believe and trust that they will execute these matters with that awareness of the gender sensitivity. Because we know that it is a fact, that it is the first time we're even experiencing the, first, uh, the office of a first husband in this public nature. And most of the issues that are being brought up are actually attached to the gender matter. So Mr. Speaker, I would like to say this. It is improper, and perhaps I would say morally improper, that a select few members come together and put together an 11-member committee without holding a kamkunji of any sort, without actually trying to, 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 to talk to the senators and say, this is the weight of the matter, get divergent views. And Mr. Speaker, we come to the floor of the House, we are thinking we are coming to execute our duties, and we are being told under the order paper that the Senate has already resolved to put an 11-member committee. So I oppose this motion. And I want to urge my fellow women senators, because there is a saying that says, first they come for the Jews, and then they come for who. By the time they come for you, there is no one to fight for you. So I want to urge, including those senators who are women, who have been the three senators who have been put in the committee. This is a matter that is bigger than you, and I want to ask you people to come together to ensure that Governor Kawera has got a fair and equal platform where we can actually listen and be able to execute our duties as senators of this house. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Ledama. Mr. Speaker, thank you. Mr. Speaker, I rise to support this motion on the following reasons. One, I empathize with my colleague who, is, who just left, um, Senator Gloria. And uh, Senator Gloria, let me go on record as a person who respects women because all my